Welcome back to day 26 of the 31 Days of Horror, and today we're diving into a mind-bending gem, 1995's In the Mouth of Madness. <laughs> Dad, you so crazy. If you're into horror that messes with your head, then buckle up because this movie is as unique and twisted as they come. Directed by the horror master, John Carpenter, this film takes the idea of reality and throws it straight out the window. It's part Lovecraftian nightmare, part psychological breakdown, and all around mind fuck. So what's the story here? We follow Sam Neill as John Trent, a cynical insurance investigator who's sent to track down Sutter Kane, a Stephen King type horror writer whose books are driving readers insane, literally. As Trent dives into Kane's world, he starts questioning what's real and what's fiction. And trust me, by the time the credits roll, you'll be questioning everything too. What makes In the Mouth of Madness so damn unique is that it's just not a horror film. It's a full-on descent into madness. It plays with reality, perception, and fear of the unknown in a way that gets under your skin. Imagine a world where the line between fiction and reality is so blurred that you're not even sure you exist. That's the vibe here, and it's unsettling as hell. And Carpenter doesn't hold back on any creepy visuals. There's this eerie small town vibe mixed with terrifying imagery straight out of a Lovecraft story. Monsters, twisted faces, bizarre creatures, it's all there and it's nightmarish. You're not just watching Trent lose his grip on reality. You're losing yours along with it. One of the best parts? The film's meta commentary on horror itself. Sutter Kane's books are literally driving people insane, which is Carpenter's twisted way of showing how powerful and dangerous stories can be. It's a horror movie that doesn't just scare you. It makes you think why you're scared and what happens when we start believing in the monsters we create. Bottom line, In the Mouth of Madness is a unique horror experience. It's creepy, it's thought-provoking, and it's one of John Carpenter's most underrated works. If you're looking for a horror film that messes with your head and keeps you guessing, this one's worth the trip down the rabbit hole. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Thanks again for watching, and be sure to check back tomorrow for the next installment of the 31 Days of Horror series.